Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the charge compatibility of the OnePlus. Here we are having the OnePlus 10 Pro and here we have this super WOOC 65 watts charger. Unfortunately, it's not the international version with the 80 watts because uh, on 110 volts, it looks like they haven't been able to provide so much power, but actually at the very end, it doesn't affect the charge uh, a lot. I've seen many tests saying that it charges almost at the same speed. So we have super high charging speed when we are using the OnePlus at the Super Vogue charger here and of course that only works when we are using this wire. So we plug it in here and let's see what we get. It's saying Super Vook, Super Fast Charge. You can see this really counting up here. That's absolutely crazy. This is so super fast. But what happens when we don't have this wire or we don't have this charger? So let's see what happens when we are just using this uh, USB charging cable on a high power, super high power, 100 watts charger like this one here. And so it's saying fast charging. It's not saying super VOOC or so. It's still showing fast charging, but not super VOOC. And we can also try with this 100 watts charger and this 100 watts charging cable. Let's see what we get. We see still fast charging. So I think it's no difference if we use a normal strong USB C to C uh, charging cable like this one, or if we use the original one on a normal quick charge or PD strong charger. And what we see is only uh, about 10 volts. That's the maximum. The voltage is, I think, about uh, 9 volts here. I've tested this before. So it's not using normal uh, 5 volts with 2 amps. It's using a little bit higher voltage. So you can achieve around 10 volts. I mean, it's uh, going up and down a little bit. But at the very end, it will be around 10 volts, which is nice. But of course, not the 65 volts, which we have from here. And it has nothing to do with this charger because this is one of the best chargers I've ever seen. The Elksom uh, Gun latest technology USB-C charger with 100 watts. So let's go back and see what we can do with the OnePlus charger with another phone. Can we at least use this one here to fast charge any other phone? So I'm using here this USB tester. And let's do some auto enumeration, see the compatibility, what it says. At least it looks like we have quick charge 2.0, 3.0 PD up to 48 watts. That's not bad. But let's also see if there's a difference when we are using the original wire here before. We have been using this uh, 100 watts USB-C to USB-C wire. Yeah, it looks like there is absolutely no difference. But of course, that's just the protocol. So we want to see if it's really possible to pull so much power here. So we do a quick ramp up test here on this device. So we are at 20, 25, 30 watt, 35, 40, 45. And we had the cut off at 2.7 amps. So when we do the mass, it stopped at 53.7 watts. It's not bad. So we can definitely use it to charge also other stuff. Yeah, there's one thing which is super interesting. I've always been thinking that we have to use their original wires to get super fast, super WOOC charge. But here in this case, we are just using the super WOOC charger and this USB C to C standard cable. Of course, it has this nice display here. But when we plug it in here, we can see it shows the super VOOC charge. Of course, now it's full because we have been charging that and it's so super fast. But it definitely looks like it's supporting the super VOOC, which is nice. So there are still quite some things which are working together somehow compatible. But I would say if you want to have the most power and most flexibility, then it's probably much better to go with such a super powerful 100 watts fast gun charge uh, like the Elksom. You can see that here it's showing up to 100 watts at PD 3.0. And it's not just me saying that because it's definitely delivering this power. I've already made a test about that. Soon 70 watts and we are still going higher. 80 watts now. 
Hope you can see that it's a little bit loud and we were close to 100 volts. And so we had the cutoff at 5.1 amps with 19.8 volts. So if we do the math, we have been at around 101 watts and it doesn't even get hot. And we do not only have one port like with the OnePlus charger, we have four ports here. We have two times 100 watts and we have one which is also high power USB-C and one standard uh, USB-A also is high power. So we have much more power, more flexibility. So if you're just looking for something which works for most of the phones, then it's probably much better to go with the Elksum. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing of this one here, but also of course for all the other devices which I've been showing you here also for this really nice USB-C charging cable down into the description of the video. So you can check it out and order this stuff for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.